Hi everyone, very short and quick video to share with you what I'm doing for my hair and skin today. I'm going to oil my hair and I'll share the mix I'm using today with you in just a bit. And I'm making a homemade face pack that you can make at home as well. Some of you asked me how often I oil my hair. I do it once a week or sometimes once every two weeks. It really depends on how lazy I get. Um, but what I'm using in the mix today is olive oil, coconut oil, and castor oil. I use very little castor oil because it's very thick and dense. So it's mostly olive oil and coconut oil. What I like to mix in my oil is tea tree oil. So this is a very concentrated and potent tea tree oil. So I just put two drops and that's more than enough. On days I don't oil my hair, I put one drop of tea tree essential oil in my shampoo, mix it up with the shampoo and wash my hair with that. What it does is that it clears away any dense dead skin cells and any impurities on the scalp that might be clogging hair follicles. So this is great to clear everything away. Um, I massage my scalp with this oil for about five to 10 minutes just to increase blood circulation and nourish the roots. Um, and whatever is left, I just rub it on um, the hair strands, especially on the ends because they tend to get pretty dry and leave it on for about 45 minutes to one hour and then wash everything away. So that's for the oil and for the face pack, I'm using gram flour, which is basin and rose water. So I usually use gram flour and yogurt or gram flour and rose water. If you have oily skin, then rose water would be better. Uh, if you have dry skin, yogurt would be amazing because yogurt has um, moisturizing properties. You can even substitute yogurt with malai, which is um, milk cream or milk. And you can even add a pinch of turmeric if you have any scars or marks and you want to lighten them. So I'm using rose water and basin. This one is a very special rose water, by the way. It's homemade and you can make it at home as well. My mom used um, rose petals from our own garden, steeped them in distilled water and um, kept it in a glass bowl covered with a muslin cloth and left it uh, overnight in the moonlight. So this is a supercharged and special rose water and you can make it as well. Basin is great to cleanse your skin. Sometimes when I'm out of face wash, I just use basin, mix it with water and wash my face with basin. It just absorbs all impurities and even absorbs excess oil. So if you have oily skin, excess sebum production, this is great for you. And it just brightens up your skin. Um, Rose water is a natural astringent. That's why it's also used as a natural toner. Um, so what, just one piece of advice, if you're going to use this face pack, make sure you tie your hair. After oiling my hair, I'm just going to tie everything up, put on a hairband, maybe even put on a shower cap because basin tends to stick to your hair and dries up and then it's really hard to take it off. So I'm going to tie up my hair and then put on basin, uh, this face pack on my skin and I just leave it until it dries up, wash it off and then wash my hair. So you can try this out. Let me know how it feels. Let me know if you like it. And don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.